Hello everybody, today I have a pretty cool bulb to share with all of you. This is something I picked up a little while back, just never got around to making a video of. Here it is. When I saw this in the bin full of other incandescent bulbs, I knew exactly what it was and had to dig it out immediately. This is a GE Easy Merc 160 watt self-ballasted mercury vapor bulb. It definitely has some use on it. And we'll take a look at that here in a second, but just look at that etch. That is so cool. Inside, we can see the mercury vapor arc tube in there. It's uh, quite dark. It does have a decent amount of use on it. We have a very nice base here with a blue glass insulator. Since this was made in Japan, I want to say this was made by, I think it's like, Ayahuasca lighting or I, E-Y-E, -E. Um, very high quality, high intensity discharge bulbs they make. I'm assuming this was maybe made by them for GE, uh, especially by the base here. It looks very much like their high quality bases. Uh, but this is a really interesting shape. It's a PS30 shape, medium base. Let me see if we can take a look at the inside. And we'll grab a flashlight here. You can see the top of the arc tube there. It's a little thinner, thinner here at the top. I believe the incandescent filament is up here somewhere, unless it's down below. I have not turned this on. I have no idea if it works. I picked this up for five cents. So if it doesn't work, it's a pretty cool display piece. But I think that's all we're going to get out of looking at it. Oh, there we go. Shining it from the bottom, we get a much better result. So you can see the filament here. That's the filament that ballasts the arc tube. And of course, we already kind of saw the arc tube itself. You can see the bottom of it there. There's the arc tube. It's quite small and the filament at the top. So there we get a decent view of it. So that's the bulb itself. We'll turn off the flashlight here. Let's put it into our socket because of course we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna bring over this little socket here um, so we have something to set it on so that it doesn't, um, yeah, sit on the, on the table. Let's see here. We'll get something set up. Quickly, before I uh, turn it on, I just want to do a size comparison here with a A19 size LED bulb. So you can definitely see the size difference uh, compared to a standard bulb. Okay, so we got the bulb set up here. I have the switch on on the socket, and as you can see, we have no power here at the moment because I'm going to turn it on from the main switch. Um, I just, it's too hard to hold. It wants to fall off of its little stand. So, um, I'm just trying to think of what's the best. Let's just turn it on with the lights. Here we go. Okay, so we got the incandescent filament going first, naturally. Let's see if we get the arc tube going here shortly. Interesting. Maybe it can't start the arc tube anymore. Huh. Let's turn it off. It must have done its bimetallic switch, um, thinking it could start the arc tube. Um, but obviously it did not do that. Why not? Let's try it again. Now it's not doing anything. There must be a bimetallic switch in there that isn't cooled down enough yet to let the incandescent filament start up again. We'll give it some time. 
Let's give it another go. Hmm. Still nothing. Oh, got the incandescent filament again. Yeah, that arc tube just must be done. Oh wait, is it me or do you see some mercury vapor glowing right there? I think, I think. Yeah, we do have some mercury vapor glowing. Interesting. Let's see what we got here. 180 watts at the moment. Power factor of 0.98. Now we're coming down in, in wattage. I should have had the wattage on originally. You know, the funny thing is with this camera, you can't see the arc tube right now just because of how it's refreshing and the hertz of the arc tube and all that kind of stuff just combination of it. you can't see it here you see it coming back but we definitely have the mercury vapor light um, starting to shine through let's turn off our main lights there you go very nice i know it's like literally two three inches from the sensor but we're getting 1740 lumens about or Lux, Lux, it's not Lumens, it's Lux. And we're sitting at 163 watts right now. Let's see, what do we have? 1.44 amps. I apologize if you see my breath, it is very cold out here. Yeah, definitely. Let's see if we can get a better look at it. There you go. Look at that arc tube in there. Naturally, the filament is still glowing a bit. It is ballasting the, the um, arc tube. That is so cool. I was a little sad there at the beginning. We didn't have anything. And I thought, well, maybe that's why they donated it. You know, it just doesn't work. But sure enough, it's working now. And just like the refresh rate of the camera and uh, the hertz of the bulb, it's not matching right now, so you don't see it. But it looks like it's coming back. That is just so cool. Okay. Um, I think we're leveling out here on wattage. We're at 165 watts right now. We're still at 1.42 amps. There you go. You can see the mercury vapor color very cool now i'm not sure how to say how bright this is because it doesn't seem that bright to be honest um i want to say like a 100 watt bulb or something but that is very that makes sense because the arc tube is very blackened so it's not going to get as bright as it would have when it was brand new but you definitely still have that mercury vapor color shining through so uh, let's take a little bit of a look from further back. So here's the bulb lighting up the workbench area a little bit. It's doing a good job. It's not super bright, like I said, but I do love that mercury vapor incandescent mix of color. That's pretty cool. There you go. Definitely putting off some heat. No doubt about that. Look at that, isn't that just awesome? What a cool technology. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a look from down below. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to see you up in there very well. No, don't change cameras. When the phone thinks it's so intelligent, it's gonna change cameras on us. Boy, that's not helping anybody, is it? So the camera didn't want to do anything there. So we'll put it back on its tripod and take a look from below here. You can see the wonderful blue green of the mercury vapor arc tube and the incandescent filament surrounding it. Well, it looks like me moving it puts some more stuff in the arc there. Can't 
Can't see it too good again because of the camera. There you go. Look at that beautiful color. Okay. I'm going to try to set it back on its little base here. There we go. I'll turn the lights back on. And I suppose that's it for this bulb. Let's, let's uh, turn it off. Very, very cool. The This fluorescent light above me wasn't even off that long and it's already cold again. Anyway, I certainly hope you enjoyed this video. This is nice and warm out in the cold garage. It's a little below 40 degrees Fahrenheit out here. Once again, I do hope you enjoyed this video of this well-used GE EZ Merc 160 watt mercury vapor self-ballasted bulb. Also, please come, rate, share, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.